Guys, it's Brandon here. The new 4.2.1 jailbreak is out now, and it's an untethered jailbreak for all the devices, even iPad, iPod Touch, second generation, both MC and non MC models, third generation, fourth generation, all of them. And just so easy and it's awesome, so let's go ahead and get to it. So, uh, this jailbreak uses Green Poison. Uh, RC5 uh, to jailbreak your device and it works for both Windows and Macintosh now so we're all in luck and window the Mac version is basically the same as this so if you're a Mac user it's kind of like the same process so you can just watch this alright so what you're gonna do you're gonna download basically two things basically um, make sure that you have the most updated iTunes make sure that your device is running the 4.2.1 firmware and that you download Green Poison. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you're just going to click on Download Green Poison right here. You're going to scroll down till it says Download Green Poison RC5. And you can either do it for Mac or Windows. And I'm a Windows user, so let's go ahead and click on Mirror 1. Now, if it brings up this type of bar right here and it didn't work, you can go ahead and close out of that and use Mirror 2. And then it should work. And then see it's downloaded right down here. And it's a .zip file, so if you get a zip file, you're going to have to ex export it um, to your desktop or wherever you want to put it. Um, it. Because it's a zip file, you need to unzip it and make it so that it's a usable program. And if you're on XP, you might have to download a WinRAR program for it to work. So go on to Google and type in WinRAR program download and just use a WinRAR program to export all the f folders and files inside. So here I'll show you guys. You're going to just click on that. It's going to bring up this and you're going to hit green poison and it says extract all. You're just going to click on that. Browse wherever you want to take it. I'm going to do the desktop but I've already done it already. And then you're just going to hit extract and then it will extract it to the desktop. So that's how you do that. Um, next, you're going to have to download the firmware. You can download it here, the download the iOS 4.2.1, or you can go to Felix Burns. This is where I get my firmwares. And uh, you just go ahead and go to the iPod Touch section, and I'm 4G 4.2.1. Click on that and download, and uh, it'll look like this. I'll show you guys. Download. And it says iPod right there, and it's going to take about eight minutes or so to download it. And if you have problems with the download, let's say it doesn't, let's say it doesn't work for you, uh, make sure that the file name ends with .ipsw. That was the biggest reason why it didn't work for a lot of people before. Uh, just make sure that it ends with .ipsw, so then it will be recognizable for your device to jailbreak on. So. Or you can uh, also, another thing, uh, people had trouble exporting it, so just make sure that you use a proper WinRAR program to export it to your desktop or somewhere where it's easy to find. All right, and then uh, make sure your device is running that firmware. So you're going to go to Settings. You're going to go to General About. And then at the bottom, it says, okay, Focus Camera. 4.2.1, my camera's not working. Sorry, guys. 8C148. Um, is what it says and just make sure that your camera I mean your iPod is running that firmware alright after you get that done uh, go ahead and close your browser and then you'll have green poison up here on your desktop so just go ahead and open it up and hit run now it's gonna bring up the green poison program and it says please power off your device and connect it to begin so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna Hold the power button and then slide it off. Okay, now it's off. And uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do DFU mode with our iPod. It's you're just going to do a bunch of different combinations with the power button up here and the home button. And if you are running a Red Snow tethered jailbreak like me, uh, you're going to have to hold the home button longer than what it says on the screen. So just follow what I do because you're just going to hold the home button until the green poison apple symbol comes up on your device. You'll see it when I when I do it on my iPod. So here we'll go. Okay, I'm going to have my wonderful brother Frankie hold the camera for me while I do this so I can show you guys properly. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and 
prepare to jailbreak. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Get ready to start. Three, two, one. Press and hold the sleep button for two, one. Now continue holding the sleep button and hold the home button. Release the sleep button and continue holding the home button for 13 seconds. But we're going to be holding it for longer, so do not let go of the home button. Keep holding the home button. Now it's going to say jailbreak right down here on the corner. Keep holding the home button, guys. And then you're going to hit jailbreak. And uh, you're going to keep holding the home button, and then it'll start bringing up the green bar. And then your screen will go white. It'll start bringing up some code on your iPod Touch. You'll see it come up here in a second. See, there's some code on the iPod. Keep holding the home button through this whole process, and I'll tell you when to let go. All right, the, the green pro poison program is done on the computer. Everything else will be on your iPod. So you just keep holding the home button. And we're going to wait for the green poison Apple logo to show up on our screen. Then we can let go of the home button. This is kind of like boot tethering your device like through red snow but since this is a new jailbreak you just keep holding it like your boot tethering and then it'll just go on off the new jailbreak so we see that and we let go of the home button now and it's a uh, green poison skull I wish you guys can see that my camera sucks but uh yep it's just loading up so we can set that down now and wait for just the iPod you can just quit out of the green poison program if you would like just hit quit and now everything will be on the device itself. And if this program doesn't work for you, or if you have some issues with the program itself, and you are running the right firmware, just download Green Poison again, like delete it and then re-download it. Because Green Poison, I've had some issues with it the first time I used it, and I had to download it like three times, and then it finally worked for me. So that's one option that you guys can do if this doesn't work for you. And it's gonna, the Apple logo will just spin around. And now it should bring up the regular Apple logo. And like I said, this is the untethered jailbreak. So you will be able to shut off your device and turn it back on whenever you want and your third-party applications from Cydia will still work so it's quite awesome my computer is detecting my iPod so it should be coming up here in just a second hey Frank we see you in the reflection how are you doing <laughs> alright so your device should be up and running now so open up your iPod and uh, we'll go and see if we have Cydia yep we have Cydia still and uh, we're just going to go ahead and open that, show you guys that it's running. All right. And it looks like it's working just fine. It's loading up and everything, and we can even switch from different sections and stuff. Let's go to manage. Yep. All right, so that works. Um, here, I'll show you guys that it is an untethered jailbreak, and it will still work. So we're going to unplug it so I can shut it off and show you guys. So we're just going to hold the power button. We're going to slide the power off. And then now it's off, and so we're going to just turn it on. So hold the power button. And it should bring up the... Green Poison Skull logo again after it loads up the regular Apple logo. Yep. I like how they made that little animation, how it spins around. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Is the teapot running? Can you go shut it off? All right, so the just started up again. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to Cydia and see if it's still 
going swell. Um, there we are. And uh, it looks like it's loading up just fine. All right. It says home city and everything's running great. Awesome. And uh, so there you go, guys. That's the untethered jailbreak. And uh, hopefully this helped you guys. Um, it's It kind of took me a while to get it all figured out because if it's a boot tethered you know and I had to hold the home button it's just crazy stuff so make sure that you follow those instructions correctly and if you have any problems make sure to review this video and follow what I've said about the issue co common issues that have gone on to help you guys and uh, hopefully this solved your problems for untethered jailbreak because I've been searching forever and it's finally out and it's awesome uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for the uh, most awesome jailbreaks and the uh, most recent updates of Apple. Also, I do a daily vlog, so uh, if you're interested, you guys can go check those out. Those are pretty uh, interesting. I have a, quite an interesting life, uh, if I say so myself. Anyway, uh, hope you, hopefully this helped you guys, and I will catch you later. See ya.